So this is a tutorial for the crust camel. Um, I'm assuming you've, you already know how to camel from the, uh, from the class or the previous tutorial. If not, check that out. So we're cameling, which is a step, scoop, back, release, step, scoop, back, release. And then what we're doing here, instead of having open legs, we're now crossing over so that the front foot is in front of the back foot. So before we, it was our back foot that was leading. Now it's going to be our front foot that's leading. And then you simply uh, camel the same as before. So you step, scoop, back, release, step, scoop, back, release, scoop, back, release, step, scoop, back, release. It's actually exactly the same as this, except for um, your body is twisted and your leg is forward, if you see what I mean. So if I turned round and flip my arms, it's actually an open camel. <laughs> but what I'm doing is I'm putting my foot in front and just flipping my arms. Okay, so it feels weird, but the pelvic action is exactly the same. And we, what we can do is we can do, say, four normal camels and then flip the foot forward and do four cross camels. So that would look like this. Normal, camel, 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 crossed, camel, crossed, camel, crossed, camel, crossed, camel. Either way, camel, 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 and crossed, camel, crossed, camel. I like using crossed camels because I think they look prettier. It's a really nice line. Um, I mean, normal camels look pretty too, but I just think there's something much more elegant about the crossed camel, so that's why I like to use them. <laughs> okay.